last week's college football podcast, the premiere of the new college football pack podcast, was a goddamn banger. Ten and four across the, the the number from three guys doing it day in and day out. Let's go. Let's make y'all some money. Ready, set, go. And we are live. Welcome, everybody, back to another episode of the Money Pop Podcast Betting Show, where we break down NFL, NCAA, NBA, NBL, the next president, Super Bowl, Gatorade props, wherever you're talking about, wherever there's a line, we are looking at it. We can give you guys an edge on how to get on the right side of the number. The biggest reminder I want to give you guys, the biggest thing I want to tell you guys is not me versus you. It's not us versus you. It's not us versus your favorite handicapper, your favorite sports book, your favorite influencers, but it's us versus them, us versus the sports books, us versus the boogeyman, a.k.a. the bookman, to make sure that your bankroll and your bank account stay healthy. As Jalen Hurts, because you know I'm a diehard Eagles fan, has said, I am him. I am your guest. I am your host. I am your leader. I am Moss Money. And of course, I got my degenerate guys with me. One of the best in live betters that I know. They call him Diddy. What's up, boy? What's up? What's up? What's up? Good to be here, man. Sorry, I'm uh, in, a, in a spot I can't really be out here visually, but. No, you, uh, we got the good visual, man. Like oh, right there, oh, okay. Man. Yeah, yeah, I had a suited and booted that day. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know the little Roly, I don't yeah. know Roly or something, buddy. Nah, nah, don't don't put that out there, baby. You know Roly, <laughs> that's Fisher Price. That ain't real. Yeah, I feel you. Know I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> and new to the show, new face to the show. And did he ever start off with a banger last week? They call him C Sharp. And goddamn, what up? What up? Hell, last week, man. What's up, bro? How you? Man, I'm fantastic. Uh, summer's still here in Tulsa, 95 degrees today. I'll be swimming this afternoon. Uh, there you go. Feels great. Fall hasn't hit me yet. Yeah, well, it hit up up top, up north here. I'll tell you that. It was a little chilly out this morning. About what, it, it is that time. It is that time when I start checking weather reports for sure. For sure. For sure. So uh, real quick um, thing I want to kind of get into, we also want to welcome you guys, right? You guys, the audience, you guys, the fans, you guys, your degenerate brothers, the, what I call you guys, um, the money team. And this one thing I want to add, how can you guys support the show and support that what we're doing? Smash the like button, right? It's very important for you to do that early for us. We don't ask for tips. I know some guys put their Snapchat out there. I'm not Snapchat. I'm sorry. The cash app out there, the Venmo, whatever you want to do. We don't ask for none of that. We just ask you to smash the like button. Um, I always say this, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, and also, go ahead and go follow us on all Money Pop podcasts, social media platforms. Um, we, I do a lot. Of, I hit a same game parlay yesterday. If you would follow me on Money Pop podcast on a Dookie bowl game yesterday, I had a nice same game parlay that was uh, against the majority of most people um, yesterday. So, one again, but thank you for all the support, um, everything you do. But um, we're trying to get those likes up, man. If we can get 50 to 75 likes every Friday, um, that would go so much a uh, long way. So appreciate the support there. So let's get in right into the show. The records were outstanding. I said it earlier, 12 and 4 or 9, nine and, uh, 12 and 4 or 11 and 4, however we went, it was hot early. I got text messages from B. Diddy. I got text messages from Sharp. Like, I don't think we've missed in the first five or six plays. So we want to keep that momentum going, and we're going to keep it going. We're going to change and get to a better format. As of right now, um, what we're going to do is going to do our first best bet from everybody, the bet that we're heavy leading the, uh, the most, and then we're going to continue down the trend and continue down the trend, and then we'll get into some teaser bets. And if anybody has any parlays and leans and things like that, we'll get a better format as we keep going. This is going to be very organic. This is what we're going to let the show grow itself. I'm taking feedback from the guys, bringing feedback from you guys as well. Let me know how we're doing, and we're going to get right into it. So yesterday, uh, last week's, uh, like I said, um, 
record was amazing. And Sharp, you led the way, bro. I'm not going to hold you. You led the way. You didn't miss at all in all the plays. You had Florida State minus three. You had Florida State in the under. You had uh, A&M. Uh, where is it? You had Iowa team total under. Auburn team total under. OU. Him and Minnesota under. You were just fantastic. So way to start off the show. Way to put money in people's pockets. So let's just let's go with the hot hand, man. What you got for me this week, man? Start it off, baby. Best bet of the of the week. Oh, well, of, of Friday, either today or tomorrow. Let's see what you got for us. And Mar most money, just quickly, you do got a little echo coming bouncing back off your mic. I'm not sure if that's the fan in the background or something's coming bouncing back. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll check that out real quick. Hold on. Yep. Sharp, you're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it feels great. Uh, like I was joking with you, we can't, there's only one way to go from here. Um, I, I like to tell everybody that, um, you know, if you did fade a lot of our picks and just parlayed it up, that's not the smart way to go. Even if I did go 6-0, and that's a fluke. I'll be honest with you. 55% um, is profitable. If you can literally win six out of every 10 bets you place, and I'm talking straight up bets, individual bets, you can literally quit your day job. Um, I've been fortunate enough to do that a couple of years ago, uh, just full time better now. So I do want to put that out there. Six and O is a fluke. There's only one way to go from here, but it did feel good to start off great. I did win a little money yesterday. I like Coastal Carolina minus two and a half. We weren't able to get that on the pod, but that's OK. Sometimes those midweek games, I'll do a better job just throwing it out there on the uh, on the money pot somewhere so that people can at least see it. Mm -hmm. But as far as my favorite for the week, um, like I said, this is going to be a chalky week for me. I'm going Clemson minus seven. It's just really simple for me. When you call hike and your line of scrimmage gets relocated into your backfield all night, it's going to be a long day, and that's exactly what's going to happen to Wake Forest. Um, it, it's just I know Clemson's offense is struggling, and that's okay. It might be close for three quarters. That's why I'm kind of staying away from some unders, overs, team totals. Just give me Clemson laying the points. I guarantee this game is a double-digit win. Wow. That's interesting, Sharp. Um, okay. Okay. I can't deny it, man. You, you I, I, fire. I, feel like, I feel very confident about this game like I thought about OU. Now, I'm not saying okay. this game's going to be a blowout, but I do think this bet will be well, well easy. You won't have to worry about it middle of the fourth quarter. My only questionable – is that quarterback DJ uh, Ugale, however you say his last name. He just doesn't do it for me. But I think defensively, um, they'll be at a hold wake and check for sure. What do you think about the team total for wake? Um, do you see them be able to get over their team total? I guess that's where I would kind of lay on that side on this in this game if I would have to. Where, where's your current number at? What's your best number you can get on? Uh, let me just double check here. I want to say it's what sixteen and a half. Like yeah, that. like that. I remember it being right at that seventeen number when it opened. So, that, and that's kind of where I was feeling. Like, I just didn't love the totals as much as I just am confident. I think Clemson's yeah, defense yeah. wins this game. Okay. So I'm with you. Like, if if you're if you're confident in, you know, I, I do think. I mean, I think Wake Forest might score ten points. Right. My only <laughs> fear with the the team total goes to your point, I could see like a fluke pick six by DJ, bad oh, read, no. feeling good about himself, or blown protection, he's holding on to the ball, strip sack fumble. So I, I could see like they give away a couple points. That's why I'm leaning towards minus seven. I'm seeing at 23 and a half. My, I was way off on my initial outlook on that. Yeah, Wake can score. That's, total. That's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. RBA. And that's what we do on the show. You know what I mean? We make sure that we discuss these picks. We, we, you know, not saying we criticize or we may, we may disagree, but we try to talk it out and try to get, a, you know, different angles. I think that's what's the best thing about the show is that we have these conversations with, you know, throughout. So perfect. If you want to go same game parlay, that, that, that would be an interesting angle. Mm -hmm. All right, BJD, you up. Let's go. I'm up, man. I got to. The top, we're talking about the top pick for the week. Top pick for the week. Top pick for the week. See, the difference is in this play is that I like something better than I think should be my top pick. So I'll put it out here this way. My top pick for the viewers 
but not my favorite play, but it's the top pick, would be <laughs> Michigan team total over 41 and a half against Maryland. And this is why I say that. This is going to be a very, very tough game for Maryland. And Nate knows, Moss knows that before the season, I said Maryland's my sleeper in the Big Ten. They're one of my favorite teams looking out. I think they could be able to move the ball. I think they'll be having some upsets. But Michigan has showed me something completely different these first three weeks, averaging about 55 points a game. Um, Maryland does struggle defensively. Um, they've given up over 400-plus yards. I think they're ranked 172nd against total yards defensively. I think uh, Michigan will be able to continue to do that and move the ball as they're in the top 25 offensively in yards. Uh, obviously, they're averaging they're like number one in, in total points. I see them clearing 41 points easy, 48 to 50-plus points in this game. I like this game going over the total also. Um, so that'll be my main play here is Michigan team total over uh, 41 and a half. I would jump on that right away. Uh, real quick, that's funny you say that because I almost have the same feeling in that I gave out Clemson as my favorite, as my top play. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite individual pick is Michigan minus 16 and a half. Okay. Now, I don't love the blowout per se maybe as much as you. I I'm with you that it could get up there, but I just think they're going to absolutely blow out Maryland. Mm hmm yeah. And I think the computers have this game wrong because if you look at Michigan, go look at how many players they've played. Go look at their box score in their three games. They're, they're, there's like 80 players, 85 players getting in these games. If this game's more of a three, four quarter game, you're talking about Michigan starters being in the game and not their backups, not their walk ons, not their freshmen. These are going to be their best players. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I, Michigan, if you can get 16 and a half, this is a several unit play. Yeah, Sharp, the line scared me a little bit only because I feel like that, like we had discussed last week, the backdoor cover. I can see backdoor cover by Maryland because they can put up points and they move the ball pretty quickly also with, uh, who's that, Tua's brother out there, a quarterback. So they move the ball. They have one of the fastest receivers in college football on the wings and he's been balling. Um, yeah, we so can hear yeah, I just I just fear the backdoor cover late, you know, maybe being like a, a you know, a high scoring game, 58 to 30 something. Somewhere it's going to end up catching that 16. So that's why I say team total is easy for me. It's just the best play because I think all defensively, Maryland won't be able to stop Michigan. This this game will be, you know, push pretty high paced. So I see that being where it needs to be. So that's that's where I kind of stayed away from the, uh, the actual. Okay. Game. And, that, yep. and that team total is what again? 41 and a half. 41 and a half. Mind you, they're so, averaging 55 points a game. It's in Michigan, right? It's in, the, it's it's in Michigan. House. It's in the big house. Okay. Yep. Um, so it sounds like if I were just a third-party listener listening to you and I's conversation there, B. Diddy, it sounds like we're in agreement that this total over is a good play. I like Michigan to blow them out. You like Michigan to hit their team total. Mm -hmm. Could see the backdoor cover. That seems like we're in agreement that this game's going over. And just to be insured that I got a three team teaser with the team total going over fifty four. So that that's okay. also a good play for me too. So okay. We'll, we'll talk work? about the three team teaser later on, but they're part of that. So yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So we got Clemson and we got Michigan. Money's up. So Clemson I'm going and to Michigan team total. I'm sorry, Michigan team total. And Michigan uh, minus sixteen five is a play. I just threw that. That's one of my top five plays. So if you want to put that down like that, that's 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 my second big play. So, that, I mean, that's – I want to lock that in. Okay. Yeah, we'll put that on underneath you right now. I'll put that underneath you right now. Thank All you. Right. My play is I'm fading, 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 fading Colorado. Fading Colorado all day. <laughs> I'm going UCLA, uh, multiple quarterbacks. Who knows who's starting with Colorado? This team is terrible. <laughs> they were bad last year. And now they're even worse, I think, this year. Um, facing Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly's going to leave his starters in all four quarter. They, now, this this number ticked up a little bit here, so it's past that key number of 21, but I still think I like um, UCLA to roll here. Um, I think that um, they're going to be up fast. Now, Colorado's schedule hasn't been great to them, but they've gotten beat by TCU, Air Force, and Minnesota heavily. If I'm on the UCLA team and I'm down 21 nothing or 28-7, I'm 
I might be packing it in. Right, this is gonna be a long day. I like see UCLA here. They're at twenty one and a half. Um, I would buy the half a point to get it to the twenty one number. I would play that little bit of juice. Give me UCLA twenty one, buying the point. We're buying the half the half point. I'm laying the juice. Give me UCLA minus twenty one. Oh boy. Okay. One yeah, team I, I, I don't. I, I, one I, team I, I don't I, trust I, I, is UCLA. Right, we, I we, get we, you. No, I hear you. We usually we usually don't do college too much, and I gotta make sure I gotta keep up with you boys, man. Yeah, I'm not, not gonna be winning money out here without me, man. Come on now. The, the thing about UCLA, this is an early game for them guys, so you gotta know that's West Coast kind of going to the Midwest in Colorado. Early window. It's a two p.m. game, so that's really that's pretty much like almost like eleven o'clock game for them. So they may start slow. Just be careful with that. Just you know, I, I know you did your research. Um, UCLA. There, I don't trust these guys, but I think with that number being there that high, I think, yeah, it's, it, it's a play. It's a definitely a good play. I, I seen a number being more 17, kind of 17, 17 and a half. But with it being at 21 and a half, I, you know, it's telling me UCLA is going to bomb Colorado here. Yeah. I think it opened up at like 19. I have to double check. I didn't look at the, the look ahead. Well, not even the look ahead, but that Monday opening line, because um, obviously that line would change from a look ahead line. So I don't I don't know where it was, but I know it got ticked up. But I still I still like UCLA to win and win big here. And they beat them last year by like twenty four points. So and they were and Colorado was a, a little better team last year too. Yeah, they're worse this year. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, Colorado is terrible. Yeah, they're they terrible. Yeah. They're terrible. terrible. All right, Sharp. We have uh, I have you at the mission. Um, yep. Once again, like I said for the viewers, if you like what you hear, if you like what we're doing. Make sure we should be at twenty five likes already by now. If you're if you're watching, so. Mm -hmm. We should be at almost 50 by mid. Let's get to 75. Let's push it even more. Can we get to 100 likes on this video? Come on. Yeah, um, come on so I can add my cash app app. You know what I mean? I want to add. I want to be able to add a cash app. To here. Right. Yeah. Like, we, we, don't, we don't take no tips, but we take likes. We take subscriptions. We take notifications. And we do this every Friday. You will see this come out every Friday um, until college season's over. I know these boys love what they're doing. I love doing, doing this. And we love giving back. We love getting money. So... Any got anybody else? Any anybody? Anything else is before we send off? Are we good? betting is a team sport? Share information if you got it. I like it. Us I was first to it. house, baby. Yes, sir. So for Sharp, for Diddy, for myself, this is Money Pop Podcast. We will see you Sunday for NFL Sunday at ten o'clock. You go boys, bucks. have a day. Let's go. We're out.